Hi guys, this is Skid Flash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. I am psyched to record this for no particular reason why. I mean, it's not like we're anything we're doing in this part is that spectacular, but recently I just saw the <laughs> the trailer for the Persona 3 movie, and oh my god, I am psyched. Um, so this boss, this boss, this fight's gonna be interesting. It's gonna alternate between one of our turns and one of their turns. They're weak to uh, they're weak to wind magic. Uh, weak would be a weird way of putting it. They're they're weak, so it knocks them down. But they're actually very very resistant to win, which is the weird thing. As you saw, the Garula only did like 13 damage, and whereas Junpei's assault dive does high counter and knocks him back up and hurts me, and he's power charging, and I'm fucking scared. <laughs> and of course, Marin Karn. Oh, of course, you know, just uh, just as a safety goggles. And uh, Rebellion. These guys look like they're gonna fuck my shit up, <laughs> and that doesn't—that's not cool at all. But luckily, Ikari can knock them all down. But as you see, it only did like eight damage. So um, they're like—they're weak to wind, as in they knocks it down, but they don't actually take damage to wind, which makes an interesting like you know—you have to make some interesting choices. I mean, you have to knock them down, even though it doesn't do any damage. Like it just proves just how useful knocking enemies down is. To the point that you'll do like no damaging attacks just to you know make sure they're down because it's such a strategic thing to do and it's kind of why I like this game like this isn't a game where you can just like you know spam the attack button and expect to win the battles like some other RPGs and you it is it is hard if you uh, got to think your shit through unlike me like I honestly went into this fight thinking I would die this is actually my first time doing this fight and I'm gonna assign a target defy and conquer as I do with all the uh, the, the, the multiple, or I guess it's always three, isn't it? The uh, blockade bosses, or whatever the hell you call them, <laughs> mini bosses. Um, and lower his attack because he's the one I'm going to be attacking, of course, and I don't want him killing me. He is, in fact, mind charged. <laughs> I think these guys are all mind charged, so they would mess me up. So yeah, I just thought it was. It's it's it's. it's I I do like RPGs where you, you like you know that are really strategic like that. It, it's fun. Like, and when I say I don't like, I, I don't I don't necessarily not like RPGs where you can just attack to win, because a lot of the time in RPGs where, like, you have to, like, where you can just kill everyone by just attacking, like, a lot of the time, it's, um, a lot of the time you have to work your way to become, like, that powerful. Like, you have to do some, like, crazy, like, schemes or do some nuts side quest that gives you some, like, crazy item, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm fine with that. But it's just like, you know, if if all you're ever doing is always attacking, and there's no, like, <laughs> just be- and that's all you're ever doing, then it's like, uh, it gets boring quickly. I mean, technically all I'm doing is Garula, it's not that much different, but, you know, it's, it's hard to explain. I love this game, like, the more I think about it. And I love how the movie's coming out for it soon. Oh my gosh, I'm so psyched about that, guys. And I'm kind of skeptical here. Do I want to actually, like, you know, knock him down? Because uh, if it doesn't kill them, I might be genuinely screwed. But nope, they all die. First try. I was actually surprised. I was expecting I had to grind because I have been avoiding a lot of battles lately. Um, but no, uh, apparently I make it, which is awesome. I am definitely going to save I'll <laughs> because I don't want to do that fight again. So there's me saving. Um, and yeah, what was I gonna? What the hell was I gonna say? I completely forgot. Oh well, so now I'm time to do Tartar stuff in very cut up increments. But first of all, I want to show you uh, why it's a very good idea that I just saved right before doing that boss fight. If I just moved on, well, I would be fucked. And this is just the this one boss, this one enemy fight is a very good testament of how things can screw you over. Mistake number one: you never you want to use multiple multiple hit spells when you really need an extra turn. You never want freaking you you never want you sewer to use freaking Mar and Karn. You want to make sure you can control your AI so you know you don't actually like you know put everyone back up and not kill the one person standing. And you want to make sure the laws of statistics don't fuck you over. But nothing if nothing ever seems to go my way. But whatever. I saved and you know it's it's fine. It's it's completely fine. So let's let's redo that. <laughs> That was just, uh, that was just irritating. So yeah, that's why, that's why dark magic and light magic, when enemies are using it, always makes me nervous, because that shit can just happen. I mean, like, 
later in the game when you get, you know, personas, or you get, you get items that protect you from actually, like, dying to that, it will just knock you down instead. Um, and then you get personas that are just resistant to light and dark, although it's not as common as it is in, say, Shimigami Tensei 4, but it still exists, so, you know, I mean, technically, if you're really afraid of it, there are, there are, like, you know, precautions you can take, but still, it's like, uh, that's just, oh my gosh. So these guys again, not sure why I'm showing them again. Just to show you know, double fangs, the whole reason I got it. I don't know if, double, if, if it's double fangs just not doing that much damage, or it's just these guys having a lot of health. Because I guess 100, 100 damage isn't too shabby, but it doesn't look like it affects them at all. Let's see what everyone else does, because um, because I'm about to uh, knock him down hopefully. Nope, I guess it misses. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> just undermine all the work I've done thus far. Now everyone's back up. Luckily, Yukari knows... Lu yeah, see, Yukari's not even doing as much as that. But, I mean, still. So, and it misses. That's unfortunate. Luckily, we can do the job. There's only one more left. Um, the smart thing to do would be to actually, uh, knock him down and then do an all-out attack. That way I can get shuffle time out of this. But I didn't. Ah, uh, no harm done. It's still, still, still left. I mean, they're still, they're still dead. Luckily, I'm not dead. I don't think those guys have anything too fatal. And my partners are leveling up left and right, which is good. Um, off screen, like, I mean, not off screen, obviously, but like, I mean, off screen in terms of recording. Um, I think Yukari got like some really good, some really good healing spell. I think she got me diorama. No, no, definitely not. I think she either got media, Media or Diorama, like somewhere like behind my back, which is just incredible. And maybe Mitsuru too. Maybe they even got Garula. Like a lot of the times, like they just get new spells that you never even, you don't even know if like they get them. And a Golden Shadow, which is nice. We can uh, Golden Shadows are always fun to kill. Um, unfortunately, they don't drop the quest item that Elizabeth wants. I don't think they will drop a quest item that Elizabeth wants unless you're actually taking the quest. Which is unfortunate, because I never run into a freaking gold shadow again when I am taking the quest, so I'll have to get that off screen sometime. Um, so yes, again, what I'm showing is actually very skippy. Like, I just skipped three floors, not because we didn't really didn't do much. I'll show fights some, um, you know, new enemies. I always gotta show these. These are, uh, red fairies. They don't look too threatening. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm almost positive they're not weak to Mudo. But, you know, there's four of them, and Mudo has, like, a 25% chance of death, so, like, you know, statistically, <laughs> one of these guys is gonna die, so it's cool. I mean, it's not like, if I just use a move they're not, like, if they're, like, resistant to, then, you know, that would've just sucked. Luckily, they're weak to Mitsuru, and it's Mitsuru's time to shine. So, again, as I like to say, um... The AI is much more intelligent about actually knocking everyone down if you have Fuka scan them. Like, if Fuka didn't scan these people, I get the feeling Mitsuru would have, like, knocked one of them down with Bufula and then attacked the exact same enemy with Bufula. Just because that's just how AI is, like, ridiculous like that, but whatever. It's your job to scan them anyways. Even, um, even enemies that you can't tell, like, even the mini-bosses were, like, where, like, if you scan them, all you get is question marks. I still get the feeling that, like, even if you do that, like, the AI will still sort of know, technically. That just might be me tripping. But, you know, that's just how it is. Double up. That's cool. I mean, none of these personas. I think I already have all these personas. No, I don't have Megami. No, that's not Fortuna. That's her name. <laughs> um, because, you know, they're always nice to have the Fortune Arcana. Even though I'm never going to be hanging out with What's-His-Face for quite a while. And, uh, am I gonna do evasive maneuvers? No, no, I'm just gonna use the stairs. Which is, I guess, is evasive in itself. Um, I wanna say that if you're on stairs, I don't think anything can hurt you ever. Uh, at least if you're on the, uh, the stairs to the next floor. I don't think any of the enemies can actually touch you. I, I'm, I almost get the feeling it's with actual stairs, too. I'm not sure if the Reaper operates on that same philosophy, though. Because I know if you're on the stairs to the next floor, the Reapers will, the Reaper actually can't hurt you, but I don't think, I think if you're on stairs in general, I think the Reaper can chase you up that. But I don't know, I don't think, I haven't even encountered the Reaper, and I don't think I will be even doing that until quite a while. Um, but more on subject, this is actually a, a pretty interesting mix of enemies. There's three different enemies, and we'll be, you know, so it's more scans. 
it's which is which is cool. I always like scanning enemies. It, it gives me some feeling of completion, and I actually know what to do. And Mudo, that's not going anywhere. I'm not sure what that bird was weak to. It's probably something bird related, like thunder or ice or pierce or Pokemon X and Y is out, and I still don't have the game, and I don't think I'll be getting the game anytime soon. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, I would play it if I had the money for it. Although, I feel like if I had the money for it, I'd actually end up getting Devil Survivor Overclocked, which is actually out for the eShop now. Which is just like, you know, <laughs> essentially hipster Pokemon, <laughs> as of when, you, when, I, when I think about it. Huh, but oh well. I mean, because, like, the thing about Pokemon games is, like, they're less fun once they stop being relevant. And I had to bail Junpei out of this because he was just too slow. And I skipped a ton of floors, you know, just because. We're on floor 81. I think we were on floor 78 the last time we checked. So another three floors were skipped, which is fine. It's just, like, all I do is, like, you know, sneakily dodge enemies. And these guys are weak to Mudo. So, you know, let's use Ma Mudo. That's such a bad idea, and what am I doing? And it kills none of them! <laughs> Fuck you, probability. If these were threatening enemies, I would be so clipped right now. <laughs> because, like, typically enemies weak to, um, light and dark magic also sometimes seem to dickishly also, like, you know, happen to have really, really powerful screw you moves. But not these guys. I mean, they are doing a significant amount of damage. If all of them decided to do their most powerful attack on Minato, which is very statistically improbable. I mean, well, so was failing every single one of those Mudos was. <laughs> I could be dead right now. Whatever, we'll just kill them with damage because everyone's... They're all already hurt, so it's like, you know. Oh, and they're using Marincarn, and it actually works! These guys are just the living... These guys are just a living, you know, embodiment of breaking the odds. Ah, oh, I hate these. Whatever. Um, so using my Huapo. I'm not sure if I accidentally screwed over my Huapo yet. I'm not sure if that ha if that already happened or it has yet to happen, but it does happen. And oh, look at that! There's a persona that I can actually use. It looks like Sarasvati, which is kind of you know. It always makes me nervous. I think I've already said that. It always makes me nervous when like you know I see a persona that I can't use yet, because it gives me the impression that I'm under leveled. And you know, Minato actually has enough healing moves to actually be a decent healer, which is nifty. So that's cool. Minato's just a wild card. Quite literally, he's the attacker, he's the healer, he's the support, he's just everything. All at once. I like it. I like that concept. That he's just everything. So th this is the last floor before the uh, before the break. And there was also, you know, a very powerful shadow right next to the, the stairs right before the break. And so this is kind of pushing luck. This is really, this is kind of a gambit right here. Because if I die, then I lose a, s a ton of progress. And that would not be fun in the slightest. So whatever, we'll just have to play it incredibly safe, and hopefully these guys just whirl them down very slowly. It's the whole reason why this part is a bit longer. I mean, it's not, it's, it really isn't that long. It's decently, it's actually normal length, which is, which is actually, you know, different than how it normally is. So we're going to assign a target again, Divide and Conquer, because these are, you know, significant enough enemies that, like, you know, I actually want to do shit like this. And I'm even going to use Tarunda. I mean, like, really, I think I'm, I'm, I'm also being, like, overly cautious here, but honestly... And they're not doing any damage. Why aren't you using magic? What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, I feel like I'm almost being overly cautious, but honestly, like, you sort of have to be. Because these guys have the potential to one-shot Minato at any time they feel like. And if they ever, like, just like, hey, you know what, I'm gonna hit that guy. You know, that one guy whose life actually matters. Well, at least he didn't kill, he didn't kill Junpei, so that's nifty. Maybe I would have survived it, but you know, it would be very, very scary. It's just not something I want to deal with. And um, always attack the one. If you're knocking down enemies, make sure you always knock down the enemy who uh who you're not actually targeting. That I know it seems kind of contradictory, but the whole point is you want to you want to keep all the enemies you're not fighting knocked down so that they don't get turns and just like. The enemy you're fighting currently is going to be like knocked back up anyway, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter if like he doesn't get knocked down because if you miss if you miss the first if you miss the first Zianga on the enemy you're trying to kill, then everybody's up, and then it's just not fun, <laughs> not cool at all. And um, I'm I'm actually kind of thinking that the reason they're not using magic is because they're so programmed to use Magaru and Mabufu that uh. 
that they just don't want to do it because I assigned a target, one specific target, and they're just too good to use Garu or Bufu Law. That's my theory, at least. That really makes no sense with the Bufu Law thing. I don't, I don't know if Yukari has Garu Law yet, but that would sort of make sense. I mean, it wouldn't make sense. It'd make like stupid AI sense, but it makes it, it makes sense with their stupid AI mentality. Is what I'm getting at. We got a ton of EXP for that, and and a lot of money. Awesome. So we're kind of <laughs> we're already setting ourselves up for like you know our giant impending break. It's only there's still 28 days till the next full moon, so we have a lot of time. Better get a lot of money. And the next full moon boss again, just like this part, we will be taking on him. Just one tower. Next time on Let's Play Persona 3 FES. Until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye.